every survivor's story is special, but Ian Jameson's family had more reason than most to show their relief when he was finally discharged after five weeks battling the coronavirus. Back home, he now knows how close that battle was and how different the outcome could have been. And what I'm being told, yeah, very, my, my kidneys sort of packed up and I had to go and have dialysis. dialysis, dialysis blood transfusions. Uh, I had two blood transfusions. You was only in the hospital an hour, wasn't you? And then they phoned up to say, sorry, we've got to put your husband in a coma. He's got to go to sleep for a couple of weeks. Ian wants to thank the team at Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother Hospital in Kent that nursed him through. We did it, girls. I'm here. I'm still here. <laughs> Today, a first opportunity via the internet to show his gratitude. You look amazing. Matron Deirdre McFarlane and nurse Tracy Lewis work in the intensive care unit. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Um, Without you, Ian wouldn't be sat here. You're very, very special people. This is what drives us when we see the outcomes like you. Yeah, it is. It's a real, well, yeah. a real lift for us to see people like you go home and, and just look so great, really. Ian says a brush with death has made him appreciate life. My outlook on life has definitely changed and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to appreciate life a bit more and, uh, and treat my wife <laughs> how she should be treated. <laughs> when he's well enough, Ian and Gail intend to renew their vows and the intensive care team will be special guests at the party. Paul Davis, ITV News, Canterbury.